We stayed at our mooring on the Western Branch, which is the unfinished line towards Shrewsbury for four days as we waited for the fuel boat to deliver. Moving down the Monte, we passed through the Graham Palmer Lock, named after the founder of the Waterways Recovery Group, a team of volunteers who restore locks and clear vegetation to reclaim derelict canals. We pass over the Perry Aqueduct, through some quiet, understated rural countryside and past Rednor Basin before mooring at the Queen's Head. Good morning everybody. Good morning everyone. And welcome to our vlog. Uh, where are we honey? <laughs> We're on the Montgomery Canal. Yeah. Um, we are at the bottom of Frankton Locks. Yep. Um, We've been here a few days. We yep. had intended to go on Monday, but uh, we had a fuel delivery yesterday. So yep. uh, it's yesterday, which was Tuesday. So it's Wednesday. So yep. we've actually been here since Saturday. Yep. Um, so we need. We only got ten days on this canal, so yep. we need to get moving. Yep. <laughs> and uh, and also, if we don't get moving, we'll run out of food before we get off. Yep. Before we have time to get off. So. Yep. Uh, what she says. <laughs> So, so today we're just going to go up to um, Queen's Head, is it? I think yeah, we're Queen's. not going in the pub though, are we? No, 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 no. So we're we're just. Uh, so we're up the arm, where yeah. the services are. Yeah. So we've just topped up with water this morning, and uh, we're. Is that up the up the canal or down? The no, canal? it's down. Oh. So we're just going to go down the Montgomery now. Yeah, and um, under the bridge, so we've all got a duck. Yeah. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Come with us <laughs> down the canal and, uh, and we'll catch you a bit later on. Yeah, bye for now. Bye for now. So we've just come through the bridge and we're on our way. As you can see, we had a coal delivery yesterday. So we've got plenty of coal to last us for a couple of weeks anyway. And, uh, and we'll see him again before Christmas. So this lock has been dedicated to Graham Palmer and he apparently is the founder of the Waterway Recovery Group.
So this is Perry Aqueduct. Goes over the River Perry. And this was the site of a major breach back in 1936, which uh, caused the canal to close, the Montgomery Canal to close. And uh, eventually the aqueduct itself was demolished in 1986 and um, finally rebuilt again around about 1995-96. Um, when they were renovating this canal. This is a uh, pretty narrow here, this bit, and that looks as if stop planks, stop planks would have been put in there at some point. There's not a lot of room there. That's what it is, stop planks are up there. Okay. This little swing bridge is a little arm that takes the canal into uh, Rednall Basin. And um, at, at the moment, it's a special site of scientific interest. It's one of three along this canal, or three along the opened section of this end of the canal. There's 17 altogether. But this is one of three in this section and um, it, it's a, it used to be a boneyard there. Yeah, they used, where the was. So up that, um, up into the basin or near where the basin is, there used to be a boneworks. Now there's been a boneworks in this area since, 18, since the 1850s, 1860s. Um, but it was based at Maysbury and um, it moved so it moved down to um, here in the 1890s now there was no road access to the site so all the goods were um, transported by a canal boat there is rail access so the site itself is right next to the um, Western Railway track so there were some things brought in by um, railway but also transported by barge. Now, it used to be the boneyard was moved down from Maysbury in the 1890s. The, there were carcasses were boiled and stripped of fattened tissue, so it must have been a really smelly area, I would think. Um, and they were stripped of fattened tissue and then loaded onto the barges and taken to Port Sunlight in, in the Wirral where it was made into um, soup, soap, where it was made into soap. Um, the stripped bones were then ground for fertilisers. So it was a hive of industry here. And according to a local resident, the works was also used to manufacture gunpowder during the war. But now it's an SSSI. So this railway bridge still currently carries the Chester to Shrewsbury line. Um, and on the 7th of June, 1865, there was quite a bad accident just north of here. Um, 
a, uh, a train came off the tracks killing 12 people. Apparently due to some works being taken place and some poor signposting that the uh, train driver didn't notice. So that's a nice little turnover bridge there. So I have to go up this side and down the other side. The towpath changes to the other side of the canal. So far on the other side again. We've moored up here outside the paddleboard centre. I did, it's a quite busy road and a quite busy bridge ahead, so it is slightly noisy. There's going to be quite a lot of road noise. But we've moored in front of the building to try and take some of the impact of that noise. I did walk ahead two locks to 
past the two of the Aston flight locks to see whether or not there was um, mooring a, a bit quieter ahead. But um, to be honest, I couldn't see anything without walking quite a lot further. So, and since I've walked all the way here anyway, um, and I've had, I had to walk back from there, I decided, well, Pat had already pulled in here, to be honest. Um, and waiting for the go-ahead to come up if I found anything. But um, apparently that's, that's the Queen's Head pub and it's supposed to be really nice food there. But we won't be sampling it at the moment. And uh, on that side, there is some quite nice views. There's one other boat moored here. And like I said, there's um, a busy road that runs there on that side. So we've come four miles today. We came from the Frankton Locks. Uh, so there's only th another three miles to the end of this section of the canal that's been re renovated. So if you like this video, why not give it a thumbs up and comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe. Once you've subscribed, you can hit the bell icon and YouTube will notify you of any further videos we release. Thanks for watching.